Alright guys, this is Lewis over at the Day DP. Um, first off, I'm not too sure whether this resolution is going to work. I think I'll pop my glasses on because you can't really see too great. Um, I don't really think this resolution is going to work too well. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm actually trying it with my phone um, landscape right now. So I've got a more uh, wide resolution so it's better for widescreen because my current iPhone videos are very sort of like straight um, and vertical. So, as you guys may know, about three days ago, I made a video saying I need help. And that for me was scary because I was just so DP'd, it was unreal. I, I just, I can't believe how out of my body I can feel sometimes. And even right now, I am quite anxious. Like I'm not really anxious, actually. No, I'm not. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not anxious. Um, I'm, I'm still getting the tremors in my leg, sort of foot, sort of thing. Um, they they were on my hip and my back, but now they've gone to my legs. So I'm guessing it's something to do with growing up or something, because that sort of thing, you know, if it was a problem, it would have got worse in the certain area that it was happening in. I'm still drinking a lot of water. Uh, water's the best stuff that you can drink. Um, obviously it's filtered so it's just amazing um, I think let's probably start with the good stuff uh, because there's nothing really bad to talk about so today I haven't well I, I was gonna say I haven't really done much but I've done a fair bit for the time that it is it's only 12.57 um, in the afternoon so that'll be p.m. and um, yeah so I went for breakfast I went for a really nice full English breakfast at a, a cafe near mine called Annie's. We call them the Greasy Spoons in uh, England, but you might call them cafes um, or diners in America or wherever you're from. Um, or you might even call it Greasy Spoon, I'm not too sure, depending on where you're from. And that was really nice. I had a really nice breakfast on my own. Before that, I was really anxious. Um, I was really kind of like headed and dizzy. And, um, you know, sometimes, guys, when you, you move your head and you get so dizzy and you feel like you're going to faint, uh, you might not know, but I, I definitely know, and I, I know some other people will know the feeling. But I got that earlier a few times, um, and it, it just, you know, persisted for, like, half an hour or so. But after that, I went in, after I got into the diner, I came back out, and um, I just felt great. I, I felt amazing. Um, and... You know, I gave the uh, I gave the woman who works there a tip, a one pound tip, because it was just such a lovely breakfast. Um, the bacon was perfect. Uh, it was really it not wasn't it wasn't really salty, but you could you could tell the you know when you eat gammon, you can kind of it tastes a little bit salty. You got that nice uh, bitter is it sort of like a bitter um, taste, but you get that and that was really nice. Um, the bacon was perfect, so that was good. Um, so yeah, I had a really nice breakfast, and as soon as I came out, um, I put on my favourite song, which is, well, it's one of my favourite songs, called um, Mr. Blue Sky by the uh, Electric Orchestra. Um, so they're amazing. And I just had, I was just really joyful, I smiled at everyone that I walked by. Um, I tend to do that anyway, I tend to, you know, smile at people, because I, I don't know, it just makes me feel great, and... You know, I went into a few shops and talked to the people because I know a lot of, you know, when I go into town sort of thing, um, I always go into every shop and I just, you know, get to know the uh, people that work there. And, you know, I just I just like talking to people. I like talking to different people and just seeing how everyone is. Um, it's, it's just great. I love, you know, socialising uh, with older people. Um, that Yeah, so that's great. Um, and, yeah, I, I walked home. Uh, I took quite a long walk home, and you know today's been okay so far, apart from the leg twitches and the wheel. Well, the wheel that, that doesn't sound great, um, and the not bothering to do anything really. Um, you know, you get into those moods. Uh, you know, maybe it's just me, or maybe it's every DP sufferer, or maybe it's just everyone in general. Um, probably is everyone in general, but you get into those kind of moods where you just don't really want to do anything and just nothing appeals to you really and it's got sort of like a depressive mood because 
you're not really interested in doing anything at the moment. And that's what I feel like right now. Um, I'm not really interested in, you know, like, hopping on Call of Duty or um, doing anything like that. I'm not really interested in, you know, doing YouTube right now, apart from making this video. I thought, you know what, let's just make a DP video. Um, but I'm not too interested in doing much right now. I'm just, one of, in, I'm just in one of those moods where everything's boring. Yesterday, I went for a business job interview. And they're going to hook me up with another company because it's for an apprenticeship. Um, these guys called, uh, I think they're called uh, Trainee uh, Associates or something. Training Associates. Training Associate. So, something like that. But um, that was a really gay sort of thing that I've just done there. Um, no offence to homos. I, I'm not a homo... Uh, homo... What do you call them? Homophobic. I'm not homophobic. I have a lot of gay friends. Um... Uh, but yeah, so I, I had an interview yesterday for a sort of middleman company um, that specialises in getting people apprenticeships. And I've got another interview on, I believe it's next Tuesday. So I've got an interview next Tuesday for a um, for a uh, estate agent, uh, estate agent company for property sales. So that's really awesome. I get to dress up in a suit every day. Uh, my nan's going to help me. Um, well, she's going to help me uh, get some money together for a suit tomorrow. I'm going to get a nice skinny fit suit, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks, you know, I tried a few on yesterday. They just look so nice. I love. I, I just love dressing up in a suit. It makes me feel great. So that's amazing. I'm actually, you know, getting into a job sort of thing. Um, so that yeah, that's great. Another thing, uh, the acting. The acting is going awesome. I haven't actually, you know, participated in any casting or anything yet. No, this is just the start of the acting career. Um, so I'm just, you know, talking to a guy about, you know, how to get into acting, knowing the industry. Uh, he's going to come down and do me a photo shoot for um, a lot of acting sort of things because I need to put them on acting casting website. I and mean, if you guys don't know how that works, then I won't explain right now. But basically. Um, you have to sell yourself. Um, think of yourself as a product. Uh, think of a really bad brand of sweets, of candy, and then a really good brand of candy. Um, and the bad brand has bad flavours and it just tastes horrible, but the good brand has a great flavours and it tastes amazing. So what I'm, where I'm going with this is the bad brand you know, they don't have much to present, they don't have much images of themselves, they don't have any um, expression on their face, um, they don't have much uh, personalities, um, whereas the good brand has many different personalities, uh, they have really great sort of flavour to them, um, and they're just altogether a great product. Um, and it sounds really bad when I say I'm going to sell myself, because you don't obviously don't sell yourself, but... Um, in means of acting and modelling and that sort of thing. That's the term that they use nowadays. Sorry about that, my screen just went off. That's a lot brighter now. So yeah, um, I'm speaking to, his name's Dave. I'm not going to give you away his full name. But his name's Dave and you're probably watching this video right now. So hello Dave, um, if you can see me. That's great. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, oh, oh, and one more thing guys. Um, I recently picked up a really, really awesome book. Um, and for you guys that are suffering from DP out there, a lot of people use the term recovery, um, like it's a sort of thing that you, like, like when you break your leg and you rest and you recover and stuff. Um, and some people use the term recovery with DP. Well, this book completely changed my eye and my whole idea of the whole recovery thing. Um, in a sense, it is recovery, but it's a recovery that isn't to be worked on. Um, because recovery, of course, is recovering. You're recovering from something. You're building on something. With DP, it's not a very good idea to build on it. Um, same with kind of anxiety sort of things. Depending on how you got it, uh, and depending on how you're suffering from it, it's not a great idea to forcefully recover from something. And I picked up an amazing book. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Um, and I found this book through a fellow YouTuber. Um, I can't quite remember his name. I'm going to quickly get you up his name now. Uh, recovering from deeper. Recovering from depersonalization. His name is Sean Madden. Um, hey Sean, if you can see me, uh, 
hello from England. Um, he made a really amazing video which gives you a great sort of realisation on how depersonalisation and derealisation work. Um, and it's probably not a great idea to get fully into that because it's just going to, you know, play on your mind. But um, I definitely put a link down below. Have a little look at that video. It's amazing. And I highly recommend picking up this book here, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Absolutely amazing book. I was stunned to see it in the Waterstones. So if you guys have a Waterstones around where you live, if you're from England, I'm not too sure if you have them in America, but if you have a Waterstones, I'd highly recommend going and picking up this book. Um, one more time, The Power of Now. <laughs> Um, it's a great book. It's called The International Bestseller. The Power of Now Can Transform Your Thinking. The result? More Joy Right Now by well, o Oprah Winfrey. Um, is Oprah Winfrey that... Uh... Oh, is that the one who hosts that show? Yeah, I know. I, I know of Oprah. Um, I don't, I'm not American though, so I don't watch that show. But yeah, guys, um, open yourself to the transforming experience of the power of now. So... You know, it, it talks for itself. It's about focusing on the now. And obviously it's not too informational me just saying that. I'd highly recommend going to pick up this book um, if you're suffering from anything like that. This is it for the Daily DP for today, guys. I'm going to continue the Daily DP videos tomorrow. Um, I'm feeling okay. I'm getting great sleep. And already the focus from the twitching of my leg has gone. So it just shows, it just comes to show how distraction can do, it can work wonders. So that's been the day DP for the day guys, um, I'm going to list this video as hello I'm back or something like that, because it's not really a episode, but yeah I shall see you tomorrow guys, take care and stay DP free, peace.